Here in diesem Film wird die Basisklangmassage. This film presents the basic sound massage according to Peter Hess, which is used for relaxation and the promotion of health in healthy persons. It is essential to be informed about any possible physical or psychological problems before starting a sound massage. This kind of therapy makes it possible to release stress, to feel well and to gain fresh energy. What is presented here is only a small part of what is possible with sound massage. If there are physical or psychological problems, the sound massage must be performed by an expert. The sounds of the singing bowl touch our innermost parts. They set our souls in motion. The sound takes away tension. It stimulates the self-healing processes and sets our creative energies free. So please try to experience the sounds of the singing bowl consciously. You can probably hear high and low tones as well as a lot of nuances. The singing bowl is full of overtones that touch our body in a positive way. Maybe you will be reminded of spherical or cosmic sounds. And this can be the reason why the sounds of the singing bowl are so effective in our bodies. Eastern people believe that the human being emerges from sound Nada Brahma, the world and all human beings, are made of sound. And should it really be that way, we can easily imagine why the sounds are so beneficial for our bodies. In order to illustrate the effect of the singing bowl within the human body, one can pour water into the bowl. Seventy to eighty percent of the human body consists of water, and you can imagine what the effect on the body is. If I strike the singing bowl gently, oscillating waves come into being, similar to the movement of sound waves. The more frequently I strike the bowl, the clearer a kind of mandala becomes visible. 
you can see how the water molecules start moving in a harmonizing, a pleasant and calm way. If I intensify the striking, the water comes more and more into motion. Some drops of water are released from the surface. It is clearly visible that the water has an energizing effect. It is a strong movement, somehow resembling a fountain. It is interesting to play with water in this way. You can observe the movement and get a sense of how the sound works. Children especially, for example in kindergarten, love this experiment because the oscillating movement so fascinates them. The changes in the movement appear as if the water is starting to boil. The boiling point is reached when the water starts to bubble. Now, this is not exactly the effect we want to create in our bodies. The creation of a soft, harmonizing movement, that is our goal, similar to a harmonizing mandala. The organizing effect of the sound is especially promoted by striking the singing bowl gently. The picture that is drawn on the water is somehow like a washing wave. The picture that is drawn on the water is somehow like a wave washing onto the beach. Now one could imagine that there is something solid on the beach. The sand has hardened and the waves flow to and fro over the hardened sand. After some time, the hardened spots have vanished, just like the blocks in the human body. Before your first sound massage, it is advisable to consciously experience the sound of the singing bowl and its effects. So place the bowl on your right palm. And try to listen into the sound, to hear the variety of sounds. You can feel it in your palm. It stimulates your reflex points. It vibrates and the sounds flow from your palm into the forearm, on through your elbow, the upper arm and into the shoulder blade. Maybe you can feel where the sounds can vibrate freely and where they cannot move on smoothly. Mm -hmm. 
It can also be perceived how changes come about. The regions treated become increasingly free from sound wave to sound wave. Now we do the same on our left palm. Experience the sounds consciously. Feel how they move into your arm and how far they go. Feel where they can flow freely and where they meet with obstructions. Perhaps there is a change already. The joint bowl with its unique sound vibrations was produced especially for the joints and reflex points. I place the bowl directly on the reflex points of the right foot. The joint bowl contains high, mid-range and low tones which touch the whole body. These sounds flow into the reflex points which correspond to certain parts of the body. Thus the whole body can be massaged. If time for treatment is limited, I simply press the reflex points and thus treat the whole body. The high tones stimulate the upper parts of the body, those of mid-range the central parts and the lower tones the lower parts of our body. Can you imagine how the sounds flow into your body and how the body is stimulated by them? As soon as the singing bowl has finished its sound, I take it off the right foot and place it on the left foot. The sounds flow into the reflex points move through the ankle, up the lower leg, touch the knee joint and move further up through the thigh, the hip joint, to the coccyx and up the spine.
they stimulate the neck and finally flow in and out of the head. This is how the sounds are felt if the body is free of blocks. Normally, there are several blocks that we feel through the sound. We also feel how those blocks loosen with every new wave of sound. After the singing bowl has finished, I take it off the left foot and turn to the central parts of the back. I place the pelvic bowl in the middle of the back, opposite the solar plexus. Can you imagine how the sounds flow into the body? Imagine standing at a pond, throwing a stone into the water. As soon as the stone enters the water, concentric circles appear, which we all remember from childhood games. Something similar occurs within the body. Because about 70 to 80 percent of the body consists of water, the sounds are able to move through it in an oscillating manner. If there are few blocks, the waves are able to leave the body through the toes, the ends of the hair, and of course also through both sides of the body. The sound enables the client to feel how the waves move through the body. They feel the free flow as well as the blocks. Where there are such blocks, the client can feel how they steadily loosen with every further wave of sound. The sound is very relaxing. The breathing becomes lower and lower. And so the client moves into the alpha state, a condition which is very relaxing, a state in which you are able to let go. This state of letting go is extremely effective. The body was able to get involved with the sounds, which allows us to feel our body. Now I move the singing bowl to the lower parts of the lumbar vertebrae. The lower tones, which now evolve from the bowl, correlate with the region and create a pleasant feeling. The sound waves stimulate that region. At first, only the free cells join the vibration. 
but one after the other, the blocked cells also join in and relax more and more. It is a new body experience that evolves here. And because the client is in the alpha state, this new experience enters the subconscious. There it eclipses the old feelings and the unblocked body experience increases. This means that the sounds of the singing bowl cause doubts and anxieties to disappear and a feeling of freedom expands. After the sound massage, the clients are able to move more freely. Maybe you will notice that the sounds of the singing bowl change. They are prolonged. They become more pure. This is because the tissue in this area has become more relaxed. Now I move the singing bowl to the coccyx. And place a second bowl in the neck area. This is a sound that fits this area of the body. The higher tones touch and stimulate the resonance of the upper parts of the body. Listen to the harmony of the singing bowls. I was able to control the sound of one single bowl, but with two of them harmonizing, control is impossible. I have to let go. Being out of control is extremely effective for sound massage because only in this state is letting go possible. In order to loosen the tenseness, I move the higher singing bowl into the center of the neck region. Then I move it onto the right shoulder blade where the higher tones flow into the body and loosen the tenseness.
After some time, you might hear that the tone becomes longer and purer. The sound of the singing bowl has changed together with the tissue below, which implies that the shoulder blade has become more relaxed. Now I place the singing bowl on the left shoulder blade and then I move it towards the angle in the neck area and create a sound flow from the pelvic bowl over the heart bowl up to and finally out of the head. Maybe you will notice that the sound gets longer and purer, that a clear sound flow has developed. This makes clear what has happened within the body. Some things have been cleared, the blocks have been removed. The flow through the body has become easier. When the singing bowl has finished its sound, I take it off the body. Even when the singing bowls are removed, the body still vibrates. It is advisable to take two or three minutes time to feel the body and the changes within. You can clearly perceive that the breathing has become calmer and deeper, as you can see here. Well, after the back has been treated with sound massage, we turn to the four parts of the body. Now I place the singing bowl on the solar plexus. I strike the bowl with the smaller mallet and it moves into resonance with the whole region. The sounds flow into the body and spread. Because the focus is on the front part of the body, one may be able to feel the whole region. Feel where the sounds move freely and where they are blocked. Now the focus lies on the solar plexus and the sounds flow into it, spread and cover the area. The 
The vibrating sounds can relax the solar plexus and the whole digestive system, which can regenerate through the sounds. The singing bowl's vibrations linger for quite a while. which makes clear that this part of the body has become more free. Langschale schwingt jetzt sehr lange nach. Das macht deutlich, dass dieser Bereich freier und freier geworden ist. Even if you don't hear the singing bowl anymore, it is still vibrating. Now I carefully move the singing bowl to the abdomen. and I strike it with a larger mallet. The singing bowl produces lower tones which correlate with this part of the body. It is very pleasant to feel the vibrating sounds in this area, to feel where they are able to flow freely and where they are blocked. This is a good opportunity to relax the tense parts and to feel free. With the heart bowl, I move to the heart area now. The sound correlates with this area. If you play both bowls, the whole front part of the body starts to vibrate. The sounds of the singing bowl create harmony within the body. The front part of the body has become increasingly free through the sounds of the singing bowls which are applied to the hips and the heart. Now a sound flow throughout the whole body is possible.
A very clear sound flow has developed, which demonstrates that the body as a whole has gained more purity. Purity has grown within the body. Finally, I place the singing bowl on the feet again. The lower sounds once more turn the focus to the feet which means that the connection to the earth is emphasized. I have both feet on the ground, I have contact to the earth. Give some time to relaxation. The relaxing effects of the sounds are clearly noticeable in the client's breathing, a continuous deep breathing. And what is more, the sounds keep vibrating throughout the day and even in the following days. Assuming a person suffers from headaches and the doctors think that they might stem from tenseness in the neck and shoulders, this patient then undergoes physiotherapeutical treatment which can be performed like this. First of all, place the singing bowl in the center of the patient's back. The sounds will act reassuringly as they flow into the body. The back is softly massaged and the sounds flow towards the shoulders and the neck. After some time, I place the bowl in the region of the lower lumbar vertebra. This makes sense because problems in the upper parts of the body often originate from the lower parts. Now I place the joint bowl on the neck. I use a joint bowl because it is so flexible and effective. Both bowls are struck and various sounds evolve. Give up control and the person treated will be able to enjoy the sounds. I could also turn to the right shoulder blade, for example.
With the original treatment, this would take about twice as long. And then turn to the left shoulder blade. To guarantee complete relaxation, I place one joint bowl on the right shoulder blade and another one on the left. In addition, I place yet another singing bowl in the upper region. A wonderful sound carpet develops in the part of the body that is normally tensed. It becomes freer simply through sound. Now I add the last bowl. One can imagine that after about five to ten minutes of treatment, the region has become increasingly free. Finally, one could create a stream from the lumbar vertebra to the neck and through the head. This could be one type of therapy. Depending on personal needs, the treatment can, of course, be organized differently. The basic elements can be reorganized as you need them in order to loosen tenseness or to change and positively influence your health. The basics are learned in the elementary courses. Nowadays, many physiotherapists, non-medical practitioners and doctors have singing bowls in their surgeries. It makes their work easier, especially in making a diagnosis. The singing bowl is struck and the client is asked to simply observe how the sounds flow through the body. It is important to realize where they meet with obstructions and where they can flow freely. The sounds can get stuck in the knee or in the abdomen, in the coronary area, in the throat, or in some other part of the body indicating the position of a block. During the consultation, the doctor can decide what has to be done, how the singing bowl can be used most effectively. Such a sound massage provides a wonderful opportunity to energize the whole body. The sound waves flow into the sole of the foot and through the whole body, an energizing stream up and down the body. This is also how the sound stream is felt in the surroundings. Furthermore, this exercise provides a good opportunity to treat problems with the spine. The sound moves from vertebra to vertebra up the spine 
and thus strengthens it. This method can easily be used by doctors, physiotherapists and non-medical practitioners. If you want to work with sound massage, you should attend the appropriate seminars. The basic knowledge is imparted in the elementary courses. Depending on your professional background, sound massage can be practiced on the healthy human being in order to create relaxation and promote general health. People with a medical background often use sound massage specifically to cure physical and psychological problems. After the elementary course has been completed, Supervision is offered. This is meant to let you gain more competence and also self-confidence in practical working. Further training is offered for such areas as spas, kindergartens, schools and special needs institutions. That is, areas where sound massage can easily be applied. The sound of the singing bowl can also be used to clean the body's meridians. In Eastern belief, meridians are paths which lead through our body, supplying it with energy. If we do nothing for these energy paths, they become blocked and the energy cannot flow. The energy paths are said to end in the fingertips. Therefore, it is healthful to place the singing bowl on the fingertips, directly on the fingertips, to enable them to absorb the sound. You can easily do this by yourself. The sound flows into the fingertips and cleans the energy system, the paths. One can compare them to furred water pipes. You call the plumber and he uses a mechanical tool to set the pipes swinging. The lime scale drops off the pipes and he is able to drain the pipes. The vibrating sounds remove the blocks in the energy paths and they are cleaned in that way. With this treatment, as well as with all the other sound massages, it is very important to drink as much liquid as possible in order to be able to drain what should run out of the body. The other hand needs treatment as well. Therefore, place the singing bowl on the other hand and strike it. At the same time, the sound can be reassuring. Besides cleaning the energy paths, reorganization also takes place. One can combine the purification of the energy system with an opportunity to come to rest. Let the sound finish. And as soon as it ends, take the bowl from your fingertips. You can treat yourself with a joint bowl when suffering from malfunction of the circulation. Sometimes it's quite helpful to place the feet together in this way, up in the middle, and to put the singing bowl on the insides of the feet. 
Here you also find the foot chakras for the whole body. If you place the bowl here, you must be sure that the singing bowl stands freely and can be struck by yourself. Strike the bowl with an intensity that you find pleasant. The sounds are reassuring and they flow into the feet, through the feet and eventually through the whole body. Depending on the problem and on your personal needs, you can do this exercise once, twice or even up to five times a day. Many people report that the malfunction of their circulation has vanished, that the flow has returned to normal and their formerly cold feet have become warm. This is a simple exercise with great effect. It is also pleasant to feel how the sound moves along the body. This is very energizing. Now you can let the bowl finish its sound. The sound of the singing bowl can also be used to treat problems with our joints, for example with the wrist, elbow, ankle or knee joint. We practice the treatment on the knee joint. Place the singing bowl on that part of the knee that feels comfortable and strike it. You can practice this treatment after consulting your doctor. Such treatments are often used by doctors and by non-medical practitioners who say that they are far better than the conventional electromechanical treatments. And why is that? Well, first of all, the sound of the singing bowl is reassuring one can let go. The attention moves away from the pain. The pain often concentrates on one spot because we focus our attention on that spot. And then you have a supply of many different sounds from the singing bowl. The range goes from lower frequencies right up to ultrasound, a great range of sounds from which the persons treated can pick exactly those that they need. It's like a shopping center full of sounds, you only have to grasp them. It is fascinating to see that the treatment of different problems and different people with the same singing bowl involves different sound spectrums. Sometimes a whole spectrum is missing and you get the impression that the person treated has extracted exactly those sounds required. After some time, the sound of the singing bowl again changes, which means that the region treated has absorbed enough sounds. It is saturated and has come back into order and harmony again. You can also place the singing bowl on your healthy knee. There you can experience how the sound should feel if everything is okay.
After the healthy knee has been treated for a while, you should return to the other knee. The concept of health is then transferred to the weaker side. This is important because this experience of health, of how the knee becomes more and more free, has to be processed before it enters the subconscious. After such a treatment, you approach the problem differently. The fear that a movement could hurt has disappeared only because you have seen that it doesn't hurt anymore. It has become more free. The safe dealing with this region makes the problems disappear. One goal is that the sound works in the subconscious and the other goal is achieved in the knee itself. Many women suffer from problems, pain or tenseness during menstruation. And consultation with a doctor often merely results in the use of painkillers. But you can also use a singing bowl for self-treatment after consulting a doctor. Take a pelvic bowl, place it on the abdomen and strike it. The singing bowl should be placed on a spot where the body of the bowl can vibrate freely and where you prefer to have it. Now you can consciously experience what effect the sounds have. They create width. They flow into the abdomen and loosen the tenseness. They lead the abdomen towards more harmony. It is a wonderful opportunity to get rid of the pain and the tenseness. This therapy is often far more effective than any pill. The whole treatment should be applied twice a day for about three to five minutes. This is enough. After consulting your doctor, the following treatment is a good opportunity for self-treatment, especially when suffering from malfunction of the circulation. You can place your feet in a large singing bowl and strike it. The vibrating sounds flow into the feet where they normally don't move that far, maybe up to the ankle. But from sound wave to sound wave, the sounds move further. and are felt in the lower leg, in the knee joint, the thigh. And after five minutes of self-treatment, it is possible for the sounds to move through the whole body. The body has come into a state of flow, of circulation. There 
This is successful even with people who have suffered from cold feet over years. Problems with blood pressure, either too high or too low, can also be treated in order to promote health. It becomes clear in these cases that the sounds always turn to normal, to the harmonic, no matter whether they come from high or low blood pressure. It's very important to keep contact with your doctor during such self-treatments and to have a checkup from time to time. The sound of the singing bowl can also be used to energetically clean certain rooms. This may be necessary after a difficult therapeutic session or a marital row, or simply if you have the feeling that the room begins to savor of all the problems within. It is sometimes good to grab the singing bowl, place it in your palm and strike it. This stimulates the chakras and the sound is soothing, reassuring and strengthening. The vibrations in the palm flow into the chakra and from there into the whole body. This massage allows the body to regain its strength. Then you can walk through the room with your singing bowl. Of course you have opened the windows first. Turn the singing bowl in order to achieve additional movement. This movement of the sound stirs up the air, it rearranges it, and you get the impression that all the useless elements flow out of the window. This is a wonderful and effective reorganizing ritual that strengthens in order to make us open for new experiences. It is quite beneficial to place the singing bowl in the palm once more to experience the vibrating sounds and to give yourself a strengthening treat. This sound ritual can also be used in other situations if you are stressed and very busy, for example, take two or three minutes time, no more, place the singing bowl on one palm, then the other, strike it and experience a sound massage on your reflex points. This will lead to rearrangement, allowing you to realize what comes next and to help create something new. It is a wonderful ritual, which, carried out two or three times a day, it only takes three minutes, makes the day more beautiful and work more effective. I was introduced to sound massages on a lengthy visit to Nepal in 1984. In the course of my visit, we investigated the effect of sound on the human body. Music is so important in Nepal, they even have special music gods. If somebody wants to study an instrument, he can only do so in harmony with the gods. He takes a guru and spiritually signs a contract with the gods. After he has passed the intermediate examination, he can attempt the final examination. On the day of the final exam, the whole neighborhood in which the musician will play in future and his guru and a tantric priest are all present. The musician starts to play. 
If he succeeds in gripping the audience, in fascinating them, and letting the distant God enter their souls in order to allow the divinity and harmony to arise in them, then he has passed the exam. Now I think this is a beautiful picture because we ourselves are responsible for the harmony within our bodies and in our environment. Harmony means that we are healthy, but with mistones creeping in, we fall ill more easily. When the musician has passed the exam, he is allowed to play at the various religious festivals in Nepal. The purpose of these festivals is to cure people and to promote health and harmony. In Nepal there are about a hundred festivals a year. 100 days on which you can do something for yourself. In the city of Bhaktapur with its 70,000 inhabitants, such festivals are celebrated with about 3,500 musicians. The whole city vibrates. And after a few hours of celebration, you feel as if you are in a trance or ecstasy. And this is the goal, because in such a condition, you are able to let go. You can let things happen. And that is exactly the condition that all the traditional healers try to achieve. The oracle, the tantric priests, Achima, the witch, Achachu, the food biter, and all the others. The goal is to reach a state of mind in which you can let everything go. This is so important that they have a special goddess in this area. She is called Manushri and is portrayed with a gigantic sword which is used to decapitate. Of course this is only symbolic and it is said that the goddess uses the sword to kill stupidity. And not everything that goes on in our heads is rational. We often cling to negative thoughts relating to our problems, and as a result, they are intensified. So we did some experiments with this. We placed it directly on the body, and this is what we did back in Germany. First, we used the singing bowl to release tenseness, to cure problems in the abdomen, the neck or the shoulder area. And it was very effective. We worked with this method for quite a while until we realized that the singing bowl can also be used in many different areas. Singing bowls can be a part of physiotherapy, occupational therapy, motor therapy, psychotherapy and even psychiatric treatments. The singing bowl has also entered educational sound therapy, which has become a major support for children, teenagers and adults. Here I would like to state once more. The idea of sound massage was born in the East, but the technique was developed in the West. In the meantime, sound massages are widely imitated, and people call them either Tibetan or Eastern sound massages. But this is completely wrong. The sound massage was developed especially for the Western world. There is also a wide scope for using sound massage in the various medical disciplines. It starts with releasing tenseness and leads to the treatment of specific physical problems, including malfunction of the circulation, high blood pressure, problems with the joints or the intervertebral discs. It can also be used to reinforce the health of patients after a stroke. Effective treatments are available in many areas, including massage, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, motor therapy, psychotherapy, and even psychiatry. The over 30 different workshops at our sound congresses 
illustrate just how diverse the uses are. What I'm playing here is an old singing bowl, which we used to use for sound massages. Today there are hardly any old bowls left that are of good quality. When I was in Nepal with my son and some colleagues in 1997, we examined some 10,000 old singing bowls, and of those 10,000 bowls, only 350 had an acceptable tonal quality. From the mid-1990s on, there were hardly any old bowls left, so we had to try to produce our own new singing bowls. Our first attempts in the old royal city of Patan in Nepal were not really successful. Some years later, we were fortunate enough to meet a 92-year-old man who had produced singing bowls in the past. He lived near Sikkim and he told us how to do it. We then searched for workers who would produce the bowls for us, but it took quite some time before we held the first acceptable singing bowl in our hands. Now these are the new singing bowls which have evolved from all that experience. In the past, singing bowls for the upper part of the body were heavy, weighing about two to two and a half kilos. Today these singing bowls have become smaller, but with about the same richness of tone. They were produced for our work and according to our experience. The bowls for joints and reflex points used to look like that, but now they have become much smaller and therefore also cheaper. They have a better tonal quality and are therefore more suitable for sound massage. There are two other types of singing bowls for the abdomen. The old one looked like this. But today the singing bowl is far more flexible and continuous in its sound. That makes it far more suitable for sound massage. Five different types of singing bowls have been developed and we use them in different constellations during our massages. The main purpose of the singing bowl is to touch certain parts of the body. There is the so-called heart bowl, a small bowl especially developed for the upper parts of the body. Its tonal spectrum covers the complete upper region. It offers sounds for this region so that everyone is able to extract exactly the sound that is needed. These singing bowls are often used when working with children. They are also part of singing bowl sets for private use. If you want to work professionally, you will need a more intense heart bowl which is bigger, heavier and more continuous in its sound. And it is about twice as heavy as the other bowl. There is also a special bowl for the joints and the reflex points. This singing bowl contains both high and low tones that cover the whole body. This can also be illustrated. It makes a big difference because now the higher tones are more intense 
and through the spectrum we hear the lower tones, a very flexible bow. This is the lighter bowl for the lower parts of the body, for the area around the solar plexus down to the coccyx. If you work professionally and need to focus your attention on this region, for example as a midwife doing birth preparations or as a physiotherapist curing disc problems, you will need the bigger type. This bowl also contains the lower sounds. The singing bowls can be arranged in different sets. I remove those that are not needed. This would be a small set of singing bowls containing a small heart bowl, a joint bowl which is the same for all the different sets, and a little pelvic bowl. If you decide to work more intensely in the coronary area, you should exchange that bowl and take the heavier heart bowl. This would be the extended version of a singing bowl set. As a midwife doing birth preparation courses or as a physiotherapist, you would probably take the big pelvic bowl and this would be the large set. It is very important that these three singing bowls show tonal harmony in order to enable overall harmony to develop.